Hello, it's Tim from Fair Play Now on the 20th of March 2024. Yeah, I know I haven't really been on camera like this very much over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've been so busy going to events, filming events, coming back from events, editing, uploading, and that's before you even get on to my normal work. I've just finished a a uh, fairly big electrical job as well uh, in my normal career so it's been very very hectic but uh, I'm back and I'm actually going to have two videos for you today uh, this one and also coming this will be out at five o'clock and then coming out probably about seven o'clock tonight will be uh, basically an interview I did with a lady called Rachel Matthews now, you may well have seen her video. Uh, I filmed an event in Leicester Square a couple of weekends ago, and she was one of the speakers alongside the likes of Richard Vobes, Matt Letissier, uh, and others. And they all got a good number of views uh, because they're either on this channel or my Rumble channel or combination of both. Uh, but by far, uh, and away, the person who got the most vote, uh, views, even should I say, not votes, uh, was this Rachel Matthews. And so far, she's got around about 24, 25,000 views on this channel, uh, which is about as viral as things get on this channel. And that was just her talking for about 10 minutes. And if you don't know, if you haven't seen her, she's got this uh, YouTube channel called Colchester Council Watch. And she goes in, either goes into her local council and films it or just gets their live stream, you know, recordings of their live streams, of their meetings, condenses it down into a 15 minute segment, along with a bit of commentary from herself and um, and it really shines a spotlight on the councils and what they're doing and I think it's a fantastic initiative and judging by those numbers of views I've just said about uh, so do a lot of people and maybe so do you so I thought what I'd do is interview Rachel so had a good conversation with her last night and she told me uh, how she got into all of this kind of thing, how she came to think along the lines we think, and she has decided to tackle the problem, you know, everything from Agenda 2030 and uh, uh, the fake agendas, you know, surrounding climate and all of the rest of it. Uh, she's tackling that by going into her local authority and trying to educate them really. And one interesting little snippet that she came out with last night is a lot of them actually think along the same lines as we do, uh, but they don't say anything, you know, go against the grain uh, because I don't know, there'll, there'll be consequences for them. But if they see they're getting a lot of views on YouTube and that kind of thing, and uh, people in the viewers gallery uh, or whatever it is, uh, kind of sharing their viewpoint. That it kind of emboldens them a bit to stand up against the people who, who, you know, who do want to push the agendas. So that's something I hadn't really considered. But what I want to talk about really in this video is an interesting thing, and you wouldn't know it to listen to her. You know, if you look at her channel, which I'll leave a, a link to in the description box below, by the way, uh, Colchester Council Watch. But uh, you'd think she's a really extroverted lady. Uh, she goes, she's very confident on camera. Uh, she's very confident when she talks to, uh, you know, councillors and that sort of uh, type of person. Uh, but she was saying she's very much an introvert, um, which is, you know, quite surprising. But I, I think... I might be totally on the wrong track here. Tell me if you think I'm wrong in the comments section. But I think the freedom movement consists of largely introverts. I, I'm an introvert. Uh, you might not think so because I'm on camera uh, many days and I've made sort of... 
well into, well, well over a thousand videos. So you think, well, that's not what an introvert does, surely. But I can, I can assure you, I am an introvert. And, you know, uh, if you ever met me, you'd be the one doing most of the talking probably. And I'd just be sitting there listening, but not really yeah you know, sort of saying too much or i might be sitting in the back of the room with a cup of coffee uh sort of keeping myself to myself i'm certainly not life and soul of the party and i suspect many other people uh in the freedom movement are the same uh i know lee from the veritas vincent channel he's definitely an introvert uh marty bucko is um even though he does his sort of uh, sort of song and dance r routines and that kind of thing. I th he's, uh, I'm pretty sure, an introvert. Uh, sort of probably the likes of Nigel Watson, uh, etc. Um, Vobesy, um, he's definitely not an introvert, is he? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought he's uh, uh, an extrovert. But my, my gut feeling is probably 80% of people in the freedom movement, if not more, are introverts would classify themselves as introverts and I'm just wondering why that is is it because you know where you know we think about things a bit more uh, or you know maybe extroverts are sort of more happy-go-lucky and they just sort of bobble through life and uh, uh, having fun and chatting to all kinds of people and perhaps you know they haven't got time like we have to just sort of sit down and lose themselves in their own thoughts which is something I do and when, and when you do that you take the time to do that you tend to have uh, you know all kinds of ideas popping into your head and then you go and watch videos to um, you know kind of support those ideas or contradict them or whatever um, so it's an interesting one and I'd like to see what your thoughts are I, I did actually see something a long time ago, uh, well before the nonsense started, that uh, uh, the people who make the best salespeople in the world are introverts, which I found surprising. You might find surprising because the classic image of a salesperson is this kind of real slick, kind of gift of the gab type of person who can sort of speak for uh, uh, for hours and reel off all sorts of uh, uh, facts and figures and sort of present everything in a really slick way and you'd think that that would be the type of person who'd be the best salespeople and certainly companies do because most of them that you come across seem to be that sort of person but there is data to suggest out there that uh, it is actually introverts um, who are the best at that profession and, and it wouldn't surprise me really because uh, I think we come across as perhaps a little bit more um, earnest a little bit more um, honest and genuine that, that's not to say that uh, extroverts aren't genuine and honest but introverts perhaps think about life in a, in a bit more depth and we look into things a bit more uh yeah probably because a lot of us haven't really got much in the way of social lives to be honest uh extroverts have great um social lives it seems and in my next life i'm definitely coming back as an extrovert i can tell you because it, it seems to me that they have uh, more fun than we introverts do i think we worry a bit more uh, because we've got more time to think. We're not socialising so much. We've got more time to be on our own, uh, you know, sort of think about things. And I think that is why uh, so many people in the freedom movement are introverts. So what do you think the percentage is, by the way, uh, introverts in the freedom movement versus extroverts? Because I would put it at about... 80-85% introverts uh, I don't know what you think leave, leave you, your comment in the comment section below and that will be interesting to see uh, but uh, yeah that would be my uh, sort of guess anyway and um, by the way if you don't really know what you are introvert or extrovert wise you, you probably do uh, but um, I've heard one of the best explanations of how you can tell is if you spend uh, a period of time in uh, the company of a group of people, 
if you come away from that feeling energized, uh, that means you're an extrovert. And if you come away from it drained, like I do, that's not to say you haven't had a good time in a group of people um, and you've sort of chatted and you've uh, kind of conversed and put your point, uh, you know, made a contribution to the group and enjoyed it. But you come away uh, somewhat drained as well and you just want to flop yourself down in a sort of armchair and, yeah, have a cup of coffee or something. So uh, uh, I that is definitely how I feel after I come away from that kind of situation. And I think that's how you can tell. But anyway, I've waffled on. Um, this little video was just purely uh, inspired by that comment, almost a throwaway comment that uh, Rachel made in our talk, how she's an introvert. Um, so uh, I thought it was really interesting. And it's quite surprising because people who uh, you wouldn't think are introverts like her um, by their own admission are so that's another surprising one so um, with that I'm going to leave it and like I say the conversation with Rachel will be out in just a little while um, judging from her talk that sort of received a really really good viewership uh, I think uh, or hope that her talk will uh, sort of go down really well with you. Um, it's basically an expansion on what she was saying on that other video. And um, yeah, do check it out. And uh, also check out her channel, which I'll leave a link to the latest video um, on in the description box below. So have a look at that and I'll be back soon. Tim from Fairplay now. Thanks for watching.